Legends, stories scattered through time. Mankind has grown quite fond of recounting the exploits of heroes and villains, forgetting so easily that we are remnants, byproducts of a forgotten past. Man, born from dust, was strong, wise, and resourceful. But he was born into an unforgiving world. An inevitable darkness, creatures of destruction, the creatures of Grimm, set their sights on man and all of his creations. These forces clashed, and it seemed the darkness was intent on returning man's brief existence to the void. However, even the smallest spark of hope is enough to ignite change. And in time, man's passion, resourcefulness, and ingenuity led them to the tools that would help even the odds. This power was appropriately named Dust. Nature's wrath in hand, man lit their way through the darkness. And in the shadow's absence came strength, civilization, and most importantly, life. But even the most brilliant lights eventually flicker and die. And when they are gone, darkness will return. So you may prepare your guardians, build your monuments to a so-called free world, but take heed, there will be no victory in strength. For perhaps victory is in the simpler things that you've long forgotten, things that require a smaller, more honest soul. Do you have any idea how hard it is to find a dust shop open this late? Please, just take my lien and leave. Shh, 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 shh. Calm down. We're not here for your money. Grab the dust. Crystals. Burn. Uncut. All right, kid, put your hands where I can see them. Hey, I said hands in the air. You got a death wish or something? Mm -hmm. Yes? I said, put your hands in the air, now. Are you robbing me? Yes. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Red, I think we can all say it's been an eventful evening. And as much as I'd love to stick around, I'm afraid this is where we part ways. You okay if I go after him? Uh -huh. We got a 
Huntress! tonight will not be taken lightly, young lady. You put yourself and others in great danger. They started it! If it were up to me, you'd be sent home. With a pat on the back. And a slap on the wrist. <laughs> but there is someone here who would like to meet you. Ruby Rose. You have silver eyes. Uh, um... So, where did you learn to do this? S Signal Academy? They taught you to use one of the most dangerous weapons ever designed? Well, one teacher in particular. I see. It's just that I've only seen one other scythe wielder of that skill before. A dusty old crow. Mm, that's my uncle. <clears throat> Sorry. That's my uncle Crow. He's a teacher at Signal. I was complete garbage before he took me under his wing, and now I'm all like... <laughs> so I've noticed. And what is an adorable girl such as yourself doing at a school designed to train warriors? Well, I want to be a huntress. You want to slay monsters? Yeah. I only have two more years of training left at Signal, and then I'm going to apply to Beacon. See, my sister's starting there this year, and she's trying to become a huntress, and I'm trying to become a huntress because I want to help people. And my parents always taught us to help others, so I thought, oh, I might, might as well make a career out of it. <laughs> I mean, the police are all right, but husband and huntresses are just so much more romantic and exciting and cool. Just, yeah, uh, you know? Do you know who I am? You're Professor Ospin. You're the headmaster at Beacon. Hello. Nice to meet you. You want to come to my school? More than anything. Mm. Well, okay. Oh, I can't believe my baby sister's going to Beacon with me. This is the best day ever! Please stop. But I'm so proud of you! Billy says it was nothing. What do you mean? It was incredible! Everyone at Beacon is gonna think you're the bee's knees. Okay, I don't wanna be the bee's knees, okay? I don't wanna be any kind of knees. I just wanna be a normal girl with normal knees. What's with you? Aren't you excited? Of course I'm excited. I just, I got moved ahead two years. I don't want people to think I'm special or anything. But you are special. The robbery was led by nefarious criminal Ruben Torchwick, who continues to evade authorities. If you have any information on his whereabouts, please contact the Vale Police Department. Back to you, Lisa. Thank you, Cyril. In other news, this Saturday's Fauna Civil Rights protest turned dark when members of the White Fang disrupted the ceremony. The once peaceful organization has now disrupted... Hello and welcome to Beacon. Who's that? My name is Glinda Goodwitch. Oh. You are among a privileged few who have received the honor of being selected to attend this prestigious academy. Our world is experiencing an incredible time of peace, and as future huntsmen and huntresses, it is your duty to uphold it. You have demonstrated the courage needed for such a task. 
And now it is our turn to provide you with the knowledge and the training to protect our world. I guess home isn't too far after all. Beacon's our home now. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, I guess the view isn't for everyone. It was a nice moment while it lasted. I wonder who we're gonna meet. Uh, I just hope they're better than Vomit Boy. Oh, yay, gross! You have puke on your shoe! Gross, 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 View from Vale's got nothing on this. sister. They're just weapons. Just weapons? They're an extension of ourselves. They're a part of us. Oh, they're so cool. Well, why can't you swoon over your own weapon? Aren't you happy with it? Of course I'm happy with Crescent Rose. I just really like seeing new ones. It's like meeting new people, but better. Ruby, come on. Why don't you go try and make some friends of your own? But why would I need friends when I have you? Well, actually, my friends are here now. Gotta go catch up. Pinsy and Wait, Pinsy. where are you going? Are we supposed to go to our dorms? Dorms. Do we have dorms? I don't know what I'm doing. What are you doing? Uh, uh, sorry. Sorry? Do you have any idea of the damage you could have caused? Uh, give me that. This is dust, mined and purified from the Schnee Quarry. Uh, what are you? Brain dead? Dust, fire, water, lightning, energy. Uh, are you even listening to me? Is any of this sinking in? What do you have to say for yourself? Unbelievable! This is exactly the kind of thing I was talking about. I'm really, really sorry. Uh, you complete dolt! What are you even doing here? Aren't you a little young to be attending Beacon? Well, I... I... <laughs> this isn't your ordinary combat school. It's not just sparring and practice, you know. We're here to fight monsters, so watch where you're going! Hey, I said I was sorry, princess. It's Eris, actually. Weiss Shani, heiress to the Shani Dust Company, one of the largest producers of energy propellant in the world. Finally, some recognition. This same company, infamous for its controversial labor forces and questionable business partners. What? How dare the, the <laughs> nerve of... I promise I'll make this up to you. 
I guess I'm not the only one having a rough first day. So, what's... Uh... Welcome to Beacon. Hey. I'm Jean. Ruby. Aren't you the guy that threw up on the ship? All I'm saying is that motion sickness is a much more common problem than people let on. Look, I'm sorry. Vomit Boy was the first thing that came to mind. Oh, yeah? What if I called you Crater Face? Hey, that explosion was an accident. Well, the name's Jean Arc. Short, sweet, rolls off the tongue. Ladies love it. Do they? They will. Well, I, I hope they will. I mean, my mom always says that. Uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> um, so, I got this thing. <laughs> Whoa! Is that a scythe? It's also a customizable, high-impact sniper rifle. A what? It's also a gun. Oh. That's cool! So what do you got? Oh, uh, I, I got this sword. Ooh. Yeah, I got a shield, too. So what did they do? Whoa, that's, look, it's not. The, the shield gets smaller. So when I get tired of carrying it, I can just put it away. But wouldn't it weigh the same? Yeah, it does. Well, <laughs> I'm kind of a dork when it comes to weapons. I guess I did go a little overboard in designing it. Wait, you made that? Of course. All students at Signal forge their own weapons. Didn't you make yours? It's a hand-me-down. My great-great-grandfather used it to fight in the war. Sounds more like a family heirloom to me. <laughs> well, I like it. Not many people have an appreciation for the classics these days. Yeah, the classics. So why'd you help me out back there? In the courtyard? Yeah, why not? My mom always says, strangers are just friends you haven't met yet. Hmm. Hey, where are we going? Oh, I don't know. I was following you. Y you think there might be a directory? Maybe a food court? <laughs> Some sort of recognizable landmark? <clears throat> is, uh, is that a no? <laughs> That's a no. Ruby! Over here! I saved you a spot! Oh, hey, I, I gotta go. I'll see you after the ceremony. Hey, wait! Ah, <sighs> great. Where am I supposed to find another nice, quirky girl to talk to? How's your first day going, little sister? You mean since you ditched me and I exploded? Yikes, meltdown already? No, I literally exploded a hole in front of the school. And there was some fire, and I, I think some ice. Are you being sarcastic? I wish! I tripped over some crabby girl's luggage, and then she yelled at me, and then I sneezed, and then I exploded, and then she yelled again, and I felt really, really bad, and I just wanted her to stop yelling at me. You! Oh god, it's happening again! You're lucky we weren't blown off the side of the cliff. Oh my god, you really exploded. It was an accident! It was an accident! What's this? The Schnee Dust Company is not responsible for any injuries or damages sustained while operating a Schnee Dust Company product. Although not mandatory, the Schnee family highly encourages their customers to read and familiarize themselves with this easy-to-follow guide to dust application and practice in the field. Um, you really want to start making things up to me? Absolutely. Read this and don't ever speak to me again. Look, uh, it sounds like you two just got off on the wrong foot. Why don't you start over and try to be friends, okay? Yeah, great idea, sis. <clears throat> Hello, Weiss. I'm Ruby. Wanna hang out? We could go shopping for school supplies. Yeah, and we can paint our nails and try on clothes and talk about cute boys like tall, blonde, and scraggly over there. Hmm? Well, really? No. <clears throat> I'll keep this brief. You have traveled here today in search of knowledge to hone your craft and acquire new skills. And when you have finished, you plan to dedicate your life to the protection of the people. But I look amongst you, and all I see is wasted energy, in need of purpose, direction. You assume knowledge will free you of this, but your time at this school will prove that knowledge can only carry you so far. It is up to you to take the first step. You will gather in the ballroom tonight. Tomorrow, your initiation begins. Be ready. You are dismissed. He seemed kind of... off. It's almost like he wasn't even there. I'm a natural blonde, you know.
It's like a big slumber party. I don't think Dad would approve of all the boys, though. I know I do. <laughs> What's that? A letter to the gang back at Signal. I promise to tell them all about Beacon and how things are going. Aw, that's so cute! Shut up! I didn't get to take my friends with me to school. It's weird not knowing anyone here. What about John? He's... nice. There you go! Plus one friend! That's a hundred percent increase! Pretty sure Weiss counts as a negative friend. Back to zero. There's no such thing as negative friends. You just made one friend and one enemy. Look, it's only been one day. Trust me, you've got friends all around you. You just haven't met them yet. That girl. You know her? Not really. She saw what happened this morning, but left before I could say anything. Well, now's your chance. Well, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> Hello! I believe you two may know each other. Aren't you that girl that exploded? Uh, yeah. My name's Ruby. But you can just call me Crater. Uh, actually, you can just call me Ruby. Okay. What are you doing? I don't know, help me. So, what's your name? Blake. Well, Blake, I'm Yang, Ruby's older sister. I like your bow. Thanks. It goes great with your pajamas. Right. Uh, <laughs> nice night, don't you think? Yes, it's lovely. Almost as lovely as this book that I will continue to read as soon as you leave. Yeah, this girl's a lost cause. What's it about? Huh? Your book. Does it have a name? Well, it's about a man with two souls, each fighting for control over his body. Oh yeah, that's real lovely. I love books. Yang used to read me every night before bed. Stories of heroes and monsters. They're one of the reasons I want to be a huntress. <laughs> Why is that? Hoping you'll live happily ever after? Well, I'm hoping we all will. As a girl, I wanted to be just like those heroes in the books, as someone who fought for what was right and who protected people who couldn't protect themselves. That's very ambitious for a child. Unfortunately, the real world isn't the same as a fairy tale. Well, that's why we're here, to make it better. Oh, I'm so proud of my baby sister. <laughs> Cut it out! <laughs> well, Ruby Yang, it's a what pleasure to- What in the world is going on over here? Don't you realize some of us are trying to sleep? Oh, not you again! Shh, guys, she's right. People are trying to sleep. Oh, now you're on my side. I was always on your side. Yeah, what's your problem with my sister? She's only trying to be nice. She's a hazard to my health. <sighs> Wake up, lazy bud! <sighs> it's morning, it's morning, it's morning, it's morning! <sighs> I can't believe we've been at Beacon for a full 24 hours! Not that I thought we'd get kicked out or anything. I mean, you're the perfect student and I'm, well, I'm me. But it's just crazy, you know? We've been friends for so long. What are the odds we'd still be together? Well, not together, together. Not that I'm not saying you're not handsome. You are handsome, but that'd just be weird, right? Right. What was I thinking? <laughs> but so... I hope we end up on the same team together. Ooh, we should come up with some sort of plan to make sure we end up on the same team together. What if we bribe that master? No, that won't work. He has a school. I know! We'll have some sort of signal, like a distress signal. <gasps> a secret signal so we can find each other in the forest. Can you imitate a sloth? Nora? Yes, Ren? I don't think sloths make a lot of noise. That's why it's perfect! No one will suspect we're working together. Come on, Nora. Let's go. But not together, together. <laughs> I wonder what those two are so worked up about. Oh, who knows? So, you seem awfully chipper this morning. <laughs> yep, no more awkward small talk or getting to know you stuff. Today, I get to let my sweetheart do the talking. <sighs> well, remember, Ruby, you're not the only one going through initiation. If you want to grow up, you're going to have to meet new people and learn to work together. Ugh, you sound like dad. Okay, first of all, what does meeting people have to do with fighting? And secondly, I don't need people to help me grow up. I drink milk. But what about when we form teams? Um, I don't know. I, I'll just be on your team or something. Maybe you should try being on someone else's team. 
My dearest sister Yang, are you implying that you do not wish to be on the same team as me? What? No, of course I do. I just thought, I don't know, maybe it would help you break out of your shell. What the? I don't need to break out of my shell. That's absolutely ridiculous. ridiculous. There's no way I put my gear in locker 636 yesterday. I would have remembered having to count that high. Oh, why does this have to happen today? So, Pira, have you given any thought to whose team you would like to be on? I'm sure everyone must be eager to unite with such a strong, well-known individual, such as yourself. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. I was planning on letting the chips fall where they may. Well, I was thinking maybe we could be on a team together. Well, that sounds grand. Great! This will be perfect. The smartest girl in class combined with the strongest girl in class. Together, we will be unstoppable. I can see it now. We'll be popular. We'll be celebrities. We'll get perfect grades. Nothing could come between us now. You know what else is great? Me, Jean-Arc. Nice to meet you. You again? Nice to meet you, Jean. Yeah, yeah. So, Weiss, couldn't help but overhear your fondness of me the other day. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Don't worry. No need to be embarrassed. So, been hearing rumors about teams. I was thinking you and me would make a good one. What do you say? Actually, I think the teams are comprised of four students each, so... You don't say. Well, hot stuff. Play your cards right, and maybe you could join up with the winning team. Jean, is it... Do you have any idea who you are talking to? Not in the slightest, Snow Angel. This is Pira. Hello again. Pira graduated top of her class at Sanctum. Never heard of it. Uh, she's won the Mistral Regional Tournaments four years in a row. A new record. The what? She's on the front of every Pumpkin Pete's Marshmallow Flakes box. <clears throat> That's you? They only do that for star athletes and cartoon characters. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Sadly, the cereal isn't very good for you. So, after hearing all of this, do you really think you're in a position to ask her to be on your team? I guess not. Sorry. Actually, Jean, I think you'd make a great leader. Don't oh, stop it. Seriously, please stop it. This kind of behavior should not be encouraged. Sounds like Pierre is on board for Team Jean. Spots are filling up quick. Now, I'm not supposed to do this, but maybe I could pull some strings, find a place for you. What do you say? All right, that's a bit too close. Pira, a little help, please? <laughs> ah! I'm sorry. Would all first-year students please report to Beacon Cliff for initiation? Again, all first-year students report to Beacon Cliff immediately. It was nice meeting you. Likewise. Having some trouble there, Lady Killer? I don't understand. My dad said all women look for is confidence. Where did I go wrong? Snow Angel. Probably wasn't the best start. Come on, John. Let's go. For years, you have trained to become warriors, and today your abilities will be evaluated in the Emerald Forest. Now, I'm sure many of you have heard rumors about the assignment of teams. Well, allow us to put an end to your confusion. Each of you will be given teammates. Today. What? <laughs> These teammates will be with you for the rest of your time here at Beacon. So it is in your best interest to be paired with someone with whom you can work well. Oh, no. That being said, the first person you make eye contact with after landing will be your partner for the next four years. What? See? I told you! After you've partnered up, make your way to the northern end of the forest. You will meet opposition along the way. Do not hesitate to destroy everything in your path, or you will die. <laughs> you will be monitored and graded for the duration of your initiation, but our instructors will not intervene. You will find an abandoned temple at the end of the path containing several relics. Each pair must choose one and return to the top of the cliff. We will guard that item, as well as your standing, and grade you appropriately. Are there any questions? Yeah, um, sir? Good. Now, take your positions. Uh, sir? I've got, um, a question. So, this landing strategy thing, uh, wh what is it? You're, like, dropping us off or something? No. You will be falling. Oh, I see. So, like, did you hand out parachutes for us? No, you will be using your own landing strategy. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, um, what exactly is a landing strategy?
Gotta find Yang. Gotta find Yang, gotta find Yang, gotta find Yang! Yang! Oh, this is bad, this is really bad. Oh, what if I can't find her? What if someone finds her first? Well, there's always Jean. He's nice. He's funny. I don't think he's very good in a fight, though. Oh, what about Blake? So mysterious, so calm. Plus, she likes books. Well, then again, I'm not sure I'd be able to hold a conversation with her. Ugh. Okay, who else do I know in this school? There's Yang, John, Blake, and... Wait! Where are you going? We're supposed to be teammates. <laughs> By no means does this make us friends. You came back! Hey, wait! Come back! Who's gonna get me down from here? Jean? Do you have any spots left on your team? Very funny. What's the hurry? I will not let my mission be delayed because you're too slow. I swear if I get a bad grade because of your... What the? I'm not slow, see? You don't have to worry about me. When did... Why, just because I don't exactly know how to deal with people doesn't mean I don't know how to deal with monsters. You're about to see a whole different side of me today, Weiss. And after it's all over, you're gonna be like, wow, that Ruby girl is really, really cool. And I wanna be your friend. You may be fast, but you still excel at wasting time! Ruby? Ruby? Bored here. Is someone there? Ruby, is that you? Nope. You guys wouldn't happen to have seen a girl in a red hood, would you? You could just say no. <laughs> Jeez, you two couldn't hit the broad side of a b You mm -hmm. You monster <laughs> What? You want some too? I could have taken him. Remember your training, Weiss. 
Head up, shoulders back, right foot forward. Not that forward. Slow your breathing. Wait for the right time to strike. And now! Hey, watch it! Excuse me, if you attacked out of turn, I could have killed you. You'll have to try a lot harder than that. We have to go! What was that? That should have been easy! Well, perhaps if you had exercised even the slightest amount of caution with the placement of your strikes, I wouldn't have set the forest on fire! What's that supposed to mean? I'm just surprised that someone that talks so much would communicate so little during an encounter. Well, I'm sorry that you need my help to win a fight. I'm just fine on my own. Well, congratulations on being the strongest child to sneak your way into Beacon. Bravo. Did you hear that? Gunfire. It seems some of our comrades have encountered the enemy. John, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Just a scratch. Why didn't you activate your aura? Huh? Your aura. Gesundheit. John, do you know what aura is? <laughs> of course I do. Do you know what aura is? Aura is the manifestation of our soul. It bears our burdens and shields our hearts. Have you ever felt like you were being watched without knowing that someone was there? Uh, yeah. With practice, our aura can be our shield. Everyone has it, even animals. What about monsters? No, the monsters we fight lack a soul. They are creatures of grim. The manifestation of anonymity. They are the darkness, and we are the light. Right. That's why we fight them. It's not about why. It's about knowing. Understanding both dark and light helps us manifest our aura. Everyone has some of both. By bearing your soul outward as a force, you can deflect harm. All of our tools and equipment are conduits for aura. You project yourself and your soul when fighting. No. It's like a force field! Yes, if you want to look at it that way. Close your eyes and concentrate. Uh, okay. For it is in passing that we achieve immortality. Through this, we become a paragon of virtue and glory to rise above all, infinite in distance and unbound by death. I release your soul, and by my shoulder protect thee. Pura? It's all right. I used my aura to unlock yours, but the energy that protects you now is your own. You have a lot of it. Wow. <laughs> I still don't think that's what a sloth sounds like. Our last pair has been formed, sir. Nora Valkyrie and Lai Ren. 
Poor boy. I can't possibly imagine those two getting along. Still, he's probably better off than Miss Nico's. Mm -hmm. I don't care what his transcripts say. That Jean fellow is not ready for this level of combat. I guess we'll find out soon enough. At their current pace, they should reach the temple within just a few minutes. Speaking of which, what did you use as relics this year? Professor Ospin? Hmm. It's definitely this way. I mean, this way. It's definitely this way. All right, it's official. We passed it. Why can't you just admit that you have no idea where we're going? Because I know exactly where we're going. We're going to the Forest Temple. Ugh. Oh, stop it. You don't know where we are either. Well, at least I'm not pretending like I know everything. What is that supposed to mean? It means you're a big, stupid jerk, and I hate you. <clears throat> just keep moving. Oh, just keep moving. Hurry up. Wow, well, watch where you're going. Why are you so bossy? I'm not bossy. Don't say things like that. Stop treating me like a kid. Stop acting like a kid. Well, stop acting like you're perfect. I'm not perfect. Not yet but I'm still leagues better than you. You don't even know me. Think this is it? Chess pieces? Some of them are missing. Looks like we weren't the first ones here. Well, I guess we should pick one. Think this is it? I'm not sure this is it. <sighs> Pira, I made the torch. Could you at least humor me for maybe five more feet? <laughs> Do you feel that? soul-crushing regret? No, it's warm. Hmm. How about a cute little pony? Sure. That wasn't too hard. Well, it's not like this place is very difficult to find. That's the relic! Relic. Yeah. Gotcha! Jean? Some girl's in trouble! Blake, did you hear that? Did your sister just fall from the sky? I... Aw, it's broken. Nora? Please, don't ever do that again. I'm 
queen of the castle. Nora! <laughs> Coming, Ren. Did that girl just ride in on an Ursa? I... <laughs> Did she just run all the way here with a Death Stalker on her tail? I can't take it anymore! Could everyone just chill out for two seconds before something crazy happens again? <sighs> um, Yang? How could you leave me? I said jump. She's gonna fall. She'll be fine. She's falling. <sighs> Yeah. Just dropping in. Oh god. No! My hero. My back. Great! The gang's all here. Now we could die together. Not if I can help it. Yeah! Ruby, wait! and don't even get me started on your fighting style. And I suppose I can be a bit difficult, but if we're going to do this, we're going to have to do this together. So if you quit trying to show off, I'll be nicer. I'm not trying to show off. I want you to know I can do this. You're fine. <sighs> Normal. Whoa. So happy you're okay. Guys, that thing's circling back. What are we gonna do? Look, there's no sense in dilly-dallying. Our objective is right in front of us. She's right. Our mission is to grab an artifact and make it back to the cliffs. There's no point in fighting these things. Run and live. That is an idea I can get behind. Time we left. Right. Let's go. What is it? Nothing.
get over there. They need help. Let's do this. Yeah, but uh, I can't make that jump. <laughs> Whoa! That was a thing. Russell Thrush, Arden Winchester, Dove Bronzewing, Sky Lark. The four of you retrieved the Black Bishop pieces. From this day forward, you will work together as Team Cardinal, led by Carden Winchester. Jean Arc, Lai Ren, Kira Nikos, Nora Valkyrie. The four of you retrieve the white rook pieces. From this day forward, you will work together as Team Juniper. <laughs> Led by Sean Ark. Huh? L Led by? Congratulations, young man. Whoa! <coughs> and finally, Blake Belladonna, Ruby Rose, Weiss Schnee, and Yang Shao Long. The four of you retrieve the White Knight pieces. From this day forward, you will work together as 
Team Ruby. Led by Ruby Rose. I'm so proud of you! It looks like things are shaping up to be an interesting year. Open it. We're gonna need more men. that you're awake, we can officially begin our first order of business. Excuse me? Decorating! What? We still have to unpack. And clean. All right! Weiss, Blake, Yang, and their fearless leader, Ruby, have begun their first mission. Banzai! Banzai! going to work. It is a bit cramped. Maybe we should ditch some of our stuff. Or we could ditch the beds <gasps> and replace them with bunk beds. Um, that sounds incredibly dangerous. And super awesome. It does seem efficient. Well, we should put it to a vote. I think we just did. <laughs> Objective complete. All right, our second order of business is... Classes. Now, we have a few classes together today. At nine, we've got to be... What? Did you say nine o'clock? Um... It's 8.55, you dunce! Uh, to class! Class? Uh, ah! We're gonna be late! Monsters, demons, prowlers of the night. Yes, the creatures of Grimm have many names, but I merely refer to them as prey. Ha ha! Ha ha! And you shall too upon graduating from this prestigious academy. Now, as I was saying, Veil, vale as well as the other three kingdoms, are safe havens in an otherwise treacherous world. Our planet is absolutely teeming with creatures that would love nothing more than to tear you to pieces. And that's where we come in. Huntsmen. Huntresses. Uh... <laughs> Individuals who have sworn to protect those who cannot protect themselves. From what you ask? Why, the very world! Hey, yeah! That is what you are training to become. But first, a story. A tale of a young, handsome man. Me, 
When I was a boy. Despite smelling of cabbages, my grandfather was a wise man. Peter, he told me. <laughs> In the end, the Beowulf was no match for my sheer tenacity. And I returned to my village with the beast in captivity and my head held high. Celebrate it as a hero. The moral of the story? A true huntsman must be honorable. A true huntsman must be dependable. A true huntsman must be strategic, well-educated, and wise. So, who among you believes themselves to be the embodiment of these traits? I do, sir. Well then, let's find out. Step forward and face your opponent. your weapon. in the presence of a true huntress in training. I'm afraid that's all the time we have for today. Be sure to cover the assigned readings and stay vigilant. Class dismissed. Sheesh, what's with her? Weiss, what? What's wrong with you? Why are you being- What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? You're supposed to be a leader, and all you've been so far is a nuisance. What did I do? That's just it. You've done nothing to earn your position. Back in the forest, you acted like a child, and you've only continued to do so. Lice, where is this coming from? What happened to all the talk about working together? I thought you believed in acting as a team. Not a team led by you. I've studied and trained, and quite frankly, I deserve better. Ozpin made a mistake. Hmm. Now that didn't seem to go very well. Is she right? Did you make a mistake? <laughs> that remains to be seen. Professor Port! Ah, Miss Shani. And to what do I owe this fine pleasure? I... I enjoyed your lecture. Of course you did, child. You have the blood of a true huntress in you. You really think so? Most surely. Hmm. Something's troubling you. Yes, sir. Dear girl, confess to me your strife. Well, I think I should have been the leader of Team Ruby. That's preposterous. What do you mean? I mean, it's only been one day. Ruby... I've made more mistakes than any man, woman, and child on this planet. But at this moment, I would not consider your appointment to leader to be one of them. Do you? Excuse me? I've believed in Professor Osborne for many years, and the man's never once led me astray. So you would just blindly accept his decision, even after seeing how exceptional I am? With all due respect, your exceptional skill on the battlefield is matched only by your poor attitude. How dare you? My point exactly. I see a girl before me who has spent her entire life getting exactly what she wanted. That's not even remotely true. Well, 
Not entirely true. Being a team leader isn't just a title you carry into battle, but a badge you wear constantly. If you are not always performing at your absolute best, then what reason do you give others to follow you? So the outcome did not fall in your favor. Do you really believe that acting in such a manner would cause those in power to reconsider their decision? So instead of fretting about what you don't have, savor what you do. Hone your skills, perfect every technique, and be not the best leader, but the best person you can be. You've been burdened with a daunting responsibility, Ruby. I advise you take some time to think about how you will uphold it. Take your coffee. Uh, I I don't answer the question. Uh, cream and five sugars. <sighs> don't move. Here. Um. Thanks, Weiss. Ruby, I think you have what it takes to be a good leader. Just know that I am going to be the best teammate you will ever have. Good luck studying. That's wrong, by the way. Hey, Ruby? Uh-huh. I always wanted bunk beds as a kid. Mr. Ark's aura has now dropped into the red. In a tournament-style duel, this would indicate that John is no longer fit for battle and that the official may call the match. Mr. Ark, it's been weeks now. Please try to refer to your scroll during combat. Gauging your aura will help you decide when it is appropriate to attack or when it is better to move to a more defensive strategy. Huh. We wouldn't want you to be gobbled up by a Beowulf, now would we? Speak for yourself. Remember, everyone, the Vital Festival is only a few months away. It won't be long before students from the other kingdoms start arriving in Vale, so keep practicing. Those who choose to compete in the combat tournament will be representing all of the Vale. So, there we were in the middle of the night. It was day. We were surrounded by Earth's side. They were Beowulves. Dozens of them! Two of them. But they were no match. And in the end, Ren and I took them down and made a boatload of Lien selling Earth's skin rugs. <sighs> She's been having this recurring dream for nearly a month now. John, are you okay? Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, why? It's just that you seem a little not okay. Uh, guys, I'm fine. Seriously, look. <laughs> Jean, Cardin has been picking on you since the first week of school. Uh, who, Cardin Winchester? Nah, he just likes to mess around, you know, practical jokes. He's a bully. <laughs> oh, please, name one time he's bullied me. <laughs> no, no, come on! 
come on. Each of you will be assigned one rocket-propelled locker to store your weapons and extra armor. Additionally, your locker can be sent to a custom location based on a six-digit code. What? No, wait, wait, get me out of here. Please, don't, don't, don't. I didn't land far from the school. Jean, you know if you ever need help, you can just ask. Oh! We'll break his legs! Guys, really, it's fine. Besides, it's not like he's only a jerk to me. He's a jerk to everyone. <laughs> Ow, that hurts! <laughs> Please stop. I told you it was real. <laughs> what a freak. <laughs> Atrocious. I can't stand people like him. He's not the only one. It must be hard to be a Faunus. <sighs> Listen, yes, prior to the Faunus Rights Revolution, more popularly known as the Faunus War, humankind was quite, quite adamant about centralizing Faunus population in Menagerie. This must feel like ancient history to many of you. It is imperative to remember that these are relatively recent events. Why, the repercussions of the uprising can still be seen to this day. Now, have any among you been subjugated or discriminated because of your fauna's heritage? Dreadful, simply dreadful. Remember, students, it is precisely this kind of ignorance that breeds violence. I mean, I mean, I mean, just look at what happened to the White Fang. Now, which one of you young scholars could tell me what many theorists believe to be the turning point in the third year of the war? Yes. The battle at Fort Castle. Precisely. And who can tell me the advantage the Faunus had over General Lagoon's forces? Hey. This art finally contributing to class. This is excellent, excellent. What is the answer? Uh, the answer? The advantage uh, the Faunus had over that guy's stuff. Uh, binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Mr. Ark. Cotton, perhaps you would care to share your thoughts on the subject. Well, I know it's a lot easier to train an animal than a soldier. You're not the most open-minded of individuals, are you, Cardin? What? You got a problem? No. I have the answer. It's night vision. Many faunas are known to have nearly perfect sight in the dark. <sighs> General Legume was inexperienced and made the mistake of trying to ambush the faunas in their sleep. His massive army was outmatched and the general was captured. Perhaps if he'd paid attention in class, he wouldn't have been remembered as such a failure. <clears throat> Mr. Winchester, please take your seat. <laughs> you and Mr. Ark could both see me after class for additional readings. Oh. Now, moving on. You go on ahead. I'll wait for Jean. You two have been struggling in my class since day one. Now, I don't know if it's a lack of interest or just your stubborn nature, but whatever it is, it stops now. You've worked hard to gain entrance to the school, and we only accept the best of the best. So, I expect you to act like it. History is important, gentlemen. If you can't learn from it, you're destined to repeat it. Pages 51 to 91. I want an essay on my desk by next class. Now, run along. Ow! <laughs> ah. You know, I really will break his legs. <sighs> I have an idea. Here, come with me. Uh Pira, I know I'm going through a hard time right now, but I'm not that depressed. I can always be a farmer or something. No! That's not why I brought you up here. Jean, 
I know you're having a difficult time in class and that you're still not the strongest of fighters, so I want to help you. What? We can train up here after class where no one can bother us. You think I need help? No. No, that's not what I meant. But you just said it. Jean, everybody needs a little push from time to time. It doesn't make you any different from the rest of us. You made it to Beacon. That speaks volumes of what you're capable of. You're wrong. I, I don't belong here. That's a terrible thing to say. Of course you do. No, I don't. I wasn't really accepted into Beacon. What do you mean? I mean, I didn't go to combat school. I didn't pass any tests. I didn't earn my spot at this academy. I lied. I got my hands on some fake transcripts, and I lied. What? But why? Because this is what I've always wanted to be. My father, my grandfather, and his father before him were all warriors. They were all heroes. I wanted to be one too. I was just never good enough. Then let me help you. I don't want help. I don't want to be the damsel in distress. I want to be the hero. John, I I'm tired of being the lovable idiot stuck in the tree while his friends fight for their lives. Don't you understand? If I can't do this on my own, then what good am I? Just leave me alone, okay? If that's what you think is best. <laughs> oh, Jean. Cardin! I couldn't help but overhear you two from my dorm room. So, you snuck into Beacon, huh? I gotta say, Jean, I never expected you to be such a rebel. Please, Cardin, please don't tell anyone. Jean, come on. I'd never rat at a friend like that. A friend? Of course. We're friends now, Johnny boy. And the way I see it, as long as you're there for me when I need you, we'll be friends for a long time. That being said, I really don't have time to do those extra readings Dr. Ubuck gave us today. Think you could take care of that for me, buddy? That's what I thought. Don't worry, Jean. Your secret's safe with me. John gets home so late? He's become rather scarce ever since he's been fraternizing with Cardi. That's weird. Doesn't he know we have a field trip tomorrow? We need our quest! I'm sure our leader knows exactly what he's doing. Hmm. I guess so. Hey, John! <laughs> Long time no see. Did you lock yourself out again? Oh, uh, nope. <laughs> Got it. So. Where have you been lately? I, uh... I messed up. I did something I shouldn't have, and now carton has got me on a leash, and Kira won't even talk to me. I'm starting to think coming to this school is a bad idea. I'm a failure. Nope. Nope? Nope. You're a leader now, Jean. You're not allowed to be a failure. But... What if I'm a failure at being a leader? Nope. <laughs> you know, you're not the easiest person to talk to about this kind of stuff. Nope. John, maybe you were a failure when you were a kid. <sighs> you might have even been a failure the first day we met. <sighs> but you can't be one now. You know why? Uh, because... Because it's not just about you anymore. You've got a team now, John. We both do. And if we fail, then we'll just be bringing them down with us. We have to put our teammates first and ourselves second. Your team deserves a great leader, Jean. And I think that can be you. Have a good night, Jean. Hey, it's your buddy, Cardin. I know you're probably busy with that dust project I gave you. But I'm gonna need you to go out and get me a bag of rapier wasps. Uh. 
and make sure they've got some really big stingers. It's important, so don't screw this up. Ah. Yes, students, the Forest of Forever Fall is indeed beautiful, but we are not here to sightsee. Professor Peach has asked all of you to collect samples from the trees deep inside this forest, and I'm here to make sure that none of you die while doing so. Yeah, yeah, oh, uh. <laughs> Each of you is to gather one jar's worth of red sap. However, this forest is full of the creatures of Grimm, so be sure to stay by your teammates. We will rendezvous back here at four o'clock. Have fun! Come on, buddy. Let's go. <sighs> hey, great work, Johnny boy. Now that wasn't too hard, was it? I think I'm allergic to this stuff. Great, great, great. So, Jean, I bet you're asking yourself, why did my buddy Carden ask me to collect six jars of tree sap when there's only five of us? That is one of the many questions I have asked myself today, yes? Well, come with me and you'll find out. Oh. Pardon, what's going on? Payback. Pira? What are you- That's the girl. Red-haired, know-it-all, thinks she's so smart. All right, boys. Last night, old John here managed to round up an entire box full of rapier wasps. And now, we're gonna put him to work. <laughs> now, according to one of the essays he wrote for me last week, these nasty things love sweets. I'm thinking it's time we teach her a thing or two. And you're gonna do it. Do what? Hit her with the sap. Either that, or I'll have a chat with Goodwitch, and you'll be on the first airship at a beacon. No. What did you say? I said... No! <laughs> oh, you've done it now. <laughs> you know that wasn't very smart, Johnny boy. I'm gonna make sure they send you back to mommy in teeny tiny pieces. I don't care what you do to me, but you are not messing with my team. What, you think talk like that makes you tough? You think you're a big strong man now? Let's see how much of a man you really are. That's a big Ursa! Did you guys hear that? Ursa! Ursa! What? Where? Back there! It's got carded! Sean! Yang! You and Blake, go get Professor Goodwitch! You two, go with them! There could be more. 
has her speed, you have your glyphs, my semblance is polarity. Oh, you can control poles. No, you dunce. It means she has control over magnetism. Magnets are cool, too. Wait, where are you going? Yeah, we gotta tell them what happened. We could. Or perhaps we could just keep it our little secret. Holy crap, John? Don't ever mess with my team, my friends, ever again. Got it? No card in tonight? I thought you two were best buds. Pira, I'm sorry. I was a jerk. You were only trying to be nice and... I, I had all this stupid macho stuff in my head. John, it's okay. Your team really misses their leader, you know. You should come down. Ren made pancakes. No syrup, though. You can thank Nora for that. Wait! I know I don't deserve it after all that happened, but... Would you still be willing to help me? To help me become a better fighter? Hey! Your stance is all wrong. You need to be wider and lower to the ground. Let's try that again. The Vital Festival! Oh, this is absolutely wonderful! I don't think I've ever seen you smile this much, Weiss. Kind of weirding me out. How could you not smile? A festival dedicated to the cultures of the world. There will be dances, parades, a tournament. Oh, the amount of planning and organization that goes into this event is simply breathtaking. You really know how to take a good thing and make it sound boring. Quiet, you. Remind me again why we're spending our Friday afternoon visiting the stupid docks. Oh, they smell like fish. I've heard that students visiting from Vacua will be arriving by ship today. And as a representative of Beacon, I feel as though it is my solemn duty to welcome them to this fine kingdom. She wants to spy on them so she'll have the upper hand in the tournament. Uh, you can't prove that. Whoa. What happened here? Robbery, second dust shop to be hit this week. This place is turning into a jungle. Oh, that's terrible. They left all the money again. Huh? Yeah, it just doesn't make a lick of sense. 
Who needs that much dust? I don't know. An army? You thinking the, uh, White Fang? Yeah, I'm thinking we don't get paid enough. Hmm. The White Fang. What an awful bunch of degenerates. What's your problem? My problem? I simply don't care for the criminally insane. The White Fang is hardly a bunch of psychopaths. They're a collection of misguided faunus. Misguided? They want to wipe humanity off the face of the planet. So then they're very misguided. Either way, it doesn't explain why they would rob a dust shop in the middle of downtown Vale. Hmm. Blake's got a point. Besides, the police never caught that Torchwick guy I ran into a few months ago. Maybe it was him? That still doesn't change the fact that the White Fang are a bunch of scum. Those faunas only know how to lie, cheat, and steal. That's not necessarily true. Hey, stop that faunus! <laughs> Thanks for the ride, guys! <laughs> good stowaway hey a no good stowaway would have been caught I'm a great stowaway hey get down from there this instant <laughs> 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 You wanted to see the competition. And there it goes. Quick, we have to observe him! <laughs> no, he got away! Uh, Weiss? Salutations! Um, hello. Are you okay? I'm wonderful. Thank you for asking. Do you want to get up? Yes. My name is Penny. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi, Penny. I'm Ruby. I'm Weiss. Blake. Are you sure you didn't hit your head? Oh, I'm Yang. It's a pleasure to meet you. You already said that. So I did. Well, sorry for running into you. Take care, friend. She was weird. Now, where did that faunus riffraff run off to? What did you call me? Oh, I'm really sorry. I definitely didn't think you heard me. No, not you. You. Me? Uh, I, I don't know I, what I, um, uh... You call me friend. Am I really your friend? Um... Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> Sensational. We can paint our nails and try on clothes and talk about cute boys. Oh, is this what it was like when you met me? No, she seems far more coordinated. So, what are you doing in Vale? I'm here to fight in the tournament. Wait, you're fighting in the tournament? I'm combat ready. Forgive me, but you hardly look the part, says the girl wearing a dress. It's a combat skirt. Yeah. Wait a minute. If you're here for the tournament, does that mean you know that monkey-tailed rapscallion? The who? The filthy faunus from the boat! Why do you keep saying that, huh? Stop calling him a rapscallion. Stop calling him a degenerate. He's a person. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like me to stop referring to the trash can as a trash can? Or this lamppost as a lamppost? Stop it! Stop what? He clearly broke the law. Give him time, he'll probably join up with those other faunus in the White Fang. Ugh, you ignorant little rat! How dare you talk to me like that? I am your teammate. You are a judgmental little girl. What in the 
in the world makes you say that? Uh, the mere fact I think that you would we short should that probably go. With a terrorist group? Where are we so going? Based on his species, makes you just as much of a scoundrel as you believe him to be. So you admit it. The White Fang is just a radical group of terrorists. That's not what I meant, and you know it. I don't understand why this is causing such a problem. That is the problem. You realize you're defending an organization that hates humanity, don't you? The faunus of the White Fang are pure evil. There's no such thing as pure evil. Why do you think they hate humanity so much? It's because of people like Cardin, people like you, that forced the White Fang to take such drastic measures. People like me? You're discriminatory. I'm a victim. You want to know why I despise the White Fang? Why I don't particularly trust the Faunus? It's because they've been at war with my family for years. War as an actual bloodshed. My grandfather's company has had a target painted across its back for as long as I can remember. And ever since I was a child, I've watched family friends disappear. Board members executed. An entire train car full of dust stolen. And every day, my father would come home furious. And that made for a very difficult childhood. Why say No! You want to know why I despise the White Fang? It's because they're a bunch of liars, thieves, and murderers. Well, maybe we were just tired of being pushed around. I... I... Wait! Wait! Come back! I knew you would look better without the bow. gone all weekend. Blake's a big girl. I'm sure she can handle herself. Weiss, come on. She's one of our teammates. Is she? We all heard what she said. Weiss. Maybe she is, maybe she isn't. Either way, she's missing and we need to find her. A member of the White Fang, right underneath our noses. I just hope she's okay. So, you want to know more about me? Finally, she speaks. Nearly two days and you're giving me nothing but small talk and weird looks. Yeah, like that. Son, are you familiar with the White Fang? Of course. I don't think there's a faunus on the planet who hasn't heard of them. Stupid, holier-than-thou creeps that use force to get whatever they want. Bunch of freaks, if you ask me. I was once a member of the White Fang. <coughs> Wait a minute, you were a member of the White Fang? That's right. I was a member for most of my life, actually. You could almost say I was born into it. Back then, things were different. In the ashes of war, the White Fang was meant to be a symbol of peace and unity between humans and the Faunus. Of course, despite being promised equality, the Faunus were subjected to discrimination and hate. Humanity still thought of us as lesser beings. And so, the White Fang rose up as a voice of our people. And I was there. I was at the front of every rally. I took part in every boycott. And I actually thought we were making a difference. But I was just a youthful optimist. Then, five years ago, our leader stepped down. And a new one took his place. A new leader with a new way of thinking. Suddenly, our peaceful protests were being replaced with organized attacks. We were setting fire to shops that refused to serve us, hijacking cargo from companies that used Faunus labor. And the worst part was, it was working. We were being treated like equals, but not out of respect. 
out of fear. So, I left. I decided I no longer wanted to use my skills to aid in their violence, and instead, I would dedicate my life to becoming a huntress. So here I am, a criminal hiding in plain view, all with the help of a little black bow. So, have you told your friends any of this? Might be able to help? The police. Ugh, Weiss. It was just an idea. Yeah, bad one. Weiss, I think we should hear her side of the story before we jump to any conclusions. I think when we hear it, you'll all realize I was right. And I think Weiss's hair looks wonderful today. Ah, Penny, where did you come from? Hey, guys, what are you up to? Uh... We're looking for our friend Blake. Oh, you mean the Faunus girl. Wait, how did you know that? Uh, the cat ears? What cat ears? She wears a bow. She does like tuna a lot. So, where is she? We don't know. She's been missing since Friday. <gasps> That's terrible. Well, don't you worry, Ruby, my friend. I won't rest until we find your teammate. Uh, that's really nice of you, Penny, uh, but we're, we're okay. Really, right, guys? It sure is windy today. So, what's the plan now? I still don't believe the White Fang is behind these robberies. They've never needed that much dust before. What if they did? I mean, the only way to prove that they didn't do it is to go to the place where they would most likely go to if they were to do it and not find them there, right? The only thing is, I have no idea where that would be. Well, while I was on the ship, I heard some guys talking about offloading a huge shipment of dust coming in from Atlas. How huge? Huge. Big Shinny Company freighter. You're sure? Thanks anyways. <sighs> this is hopeless. You really don't care if we find her, do you? Don't be stupid. Of course I do. I'm just afraid of what she'll say when we find her. The innocent never run, Yang. So. Blake is your friend? <sighs> yes, Penny. But you're mad at her? Yes, well, well, I'm not. Weiss is. Is she friends with Blake? Well, that's kind of up in the air right now. But why? <sighs> well, you see, Blake might not be who we thought she was. <gasps> is she a man? No, no, Penny. She's not. I don't know what she is. She didn't exactly talk to us before she decided to run off. I don't have a lot of friends, but if I did, I would want them to talk to me about things. Me too. Did I miss anything? Not really. They've offloaded all the crates from the boat. Now they're just sitting there. Cool. I stole you some food. Do you always break the law without a second thought? Hey, weren't you in a cult or something? Okay, too soon. Is that them? Yes, it's them. All right, grab the tow cables. You really didn't think they were behind it, did you? No, I think deep down I knew. I just didn't want to be right. Hey, what's the hold up? We're not exactly the most inconspicuous bunch of thieves at the moment, so why don't you animals try to pick up the pace? This isn't right. The White Fang would never work with a human. Especially not one like that. Hey, what are you doing? No, you idiot. This isn't a leash? No, what the? Oh, for... Nobody move! Whoa! Take it easy there, little lady. Brothers of the White Fang, why are you aiding this scum? 
<laughs> oh, kid. Didn't you get the memo? What are you talking about? Uh, the White Fang and I are going in on a joint business venture together. Tell me what it is, or I'll put an end to your little operation. I wouldn't exactly call it a little operation. her alone. You are not the brightest banana in the bunch, are you, kid? your friends. Penny, get back! <laughs> Penny, wait! Stop! Don't worry, Ruby. I'm combat ready! She's kind of cute. Weiss, I want you to know that I'm no longer associated with the White Fang. Back when I was with- Stop. Do you have any idea of how long we've been searching for you? 12 hours. That means I've had 12 hours to think about this. And in that 12 hours, I've decided... I don't care. You don't care? You said you're not one of them anymore, right? No, I, I haven't been since I was younger. Up, 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 up. I don't want to hear it. All I want to know is that the next time something this big comes up, you'll come to your teammates and not some, someone else. Of course. Yeah, Team Ruby is back together. I'm still not quite sure how I feel about you. Uh. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Where's Penny? 
You should know better than to go running around in a strange city. I know, sir. Annie, your time will come. Hmm. Very disappointing, Roman. Whoa! <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see you guys so soon. We were expecting more from you. Hey, you were the ones who suggested working with those stupid mutts from the White Fang. <laughs> and you will continue to do so. We have big plans for you, Roman. All we ask is a little cooperation. 